Welcome back. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this awesome double exposure. Stay tuned. The first step is to cut out the subject. So we're going to go to our quick selection tool. I'm going to click on my select subject and it's going to create an outline for me. And even though it's not perfect, what we want to do, I'm going to just add this area to complete my selection. And I'm going to zoom in and also add this area. I'm going to zoom out. And now what I want to do is to create a layer max. And then I want to refine the hair. So I'm going to, first of all, create a background so I can see. I'm going to click on my adjustment, choose solid color. And I'm going to change it to that. I'm going to bring it all the way down so I can see. So the first part that I need to refine is this area. I'm going to pick my quick lasso tool and I'm just going to clean up this area. It doesn't have to be perfect since it's a tutorial, but you will have to take all the time to, to finish it off. To clean off the hair, what we are going to do is first of all, click my quick lasso tool and I'm going to make a quick selection around the edge of the hair. I'm going to press control backspace to click that off and I'm going to make a duplicate of our layer and I'm going to name this hair. I'm going to name the first one subject. And I'm going to take delete the layer max for the hair. And what I want to do now is to, with my quick selection tool, I'm going to click on select and max. I'm going to make sure the show edge is unchecked. I'm going to click on my quick selection tool and make a selection around the hair, leaving the outline. We're going to use the, and now I'm going to click on my refining edge tool with my show edge selected. I'm going to just draw an outline around the hair. And I'm going to make sure my decontaminated is unchecked and I'm going to click OK. I'm going to make a selection of the hair and the subject. And I'm going to just match these two layers so we have a single file to work off. Now I want to scale our subject so we get it just a little bit bigger. I'm going to take this down. I'm going to double click. And what we want to do is to go to image um, adjustment and I'm going to select desaturation. The next step is to bring in our second image. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to use my move tool and I'm just going to drag and drop it into our working file. I'm going to move the layer up so it's above and I'm going to just set it 
Um, I'm going to change the opacity to about 50 or 34. I'm going to move I'm going to move my image to the desired location. The next step is to press Control and then click on my subject. I'm going to rename this to say subject. And this I will name as mountain. And with our selection made of our subject, I'm going to click on my mountain layer and I'm going to create a layer max. And then the next step is to create a copy of our subject. And I'm going to move it above the mountain layer. And what I want to do is to click on it and I'm going to choose Lighten for our blend mode. I'm going to take the opacity of the mountain all the way up to 100 so we can see the full thing. So now what I want to do, I want to expose more of the mountain around her neck. So uh, before I do that, I'm going to click on my subject, create a max. And I'm going to click on that. And then I want to make sure that my foreground is black. And I'm going to pick my brush. And I'm going to just reveal. So I'm going to click on my mountain layer. And with our foreground black, with my brush selected, I'm going to clean the area around her face and I'm also going to work on the other eye so I'm going to erase so I'm going to double click on our background color and I'm going to use with my eyedropper I'm going to click in this area so we can get a very close match select our mountain layer I'm going to create a duplicate and what I want to do is move it all the way up and we want to get rid of the max layer. So I'm going to delete that. And what I want to do is change my blend mode to lighten. And now you can see that although um, we, we have a cool effect, we see that um, we are seeing the image in areas that we don't want it showing. So to fix that, we are going to create another black layer max on this by clicking on Alt and our layer max. I'm going to pick my paint bucket, making sure my foreground is white. I'm going to increase my brush head. And we are just going to reveal the areas that we want shown. Now that we have this, what I want to do, I'm going to add another layer of color by going to solid color. And I want to change this to that color. I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay. And I'm going to decrease the opacity. I'm going to take it down to about 20. And there you have it. I hope this was a fun tutorial for you to try your hands on. Please like, comment, subscribe. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. And as always, thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.